Hello, this is Wes with BarronHeating.com, BarronGreenTeam.com, and Viable Systems Consulting. This is a Coleman York Luxair 2 ton 13 sear with a compressor sound blanket. If you leave your volume at the same level, go back and watch. I think I've got two and a half or three ton uh, in a different video. Without, you'll notice a distinct difference. I'm also going to show you the bedroom that's pretty close by so you can see what that sounds like. All right, let's go inside. I'm going to show you a little trick that we did. It's pretty exciting. So one of the things that happened with this install is that she wanted to have as much airflow and cooling to the bedroom as possible. And that's a little difficult considering that she also wants to sleep cold when the furnace isn't heating. And so that's how she likes to do things. Um, but it's not difficult, it's actually really easy. So if you're in the same situation, let me try to adjust the auto on that. If you're in the same situation and you want to have you know, control one way or the other, here's how you do it. I call this a minion damper. It used to be known as a slave damper, but that's not PC, so I call it the minion damper. Um, we take an automatic damper here, and we run a duct from wherever you want to do it, and that goes all the way to the bedroom. I'll show it to you. And to that uh, damper, we run a uh, just simple thermostat, non-programmable, up in the master bedroom. And what that does is it says, I want air, I don't. It doesn't control, again, minion damper. It is told what to do. It doesn't tell anybody else what to do. So it's not controlling the furnace or anything like that. That's the job of the main thermostat. So looking at, and I'll show that to you upstairs, but looking at this install, see if I can go a little further back. This is your basic setup. If you have uh, something like this in your garage, you have your uh, four inch filter cabinet, you have your base can, your furnace, the air is pointing up this way. One of the things that happened in this install that uh, was interesting is they had a hundred and like 20,000 BTU furnace. The garage was hotter than the house. I mean, it was insane. And so knowing that we're gonna be sealing that up, knowing that we did aero seal on the ductwork, which we reduced the uh, duct leakage by 92% in this house and gained back a ton of capacity, we went down to a uh, 60,000 BTU furnace in this instance. Um, uh, so you're able to capture all that heat back, get all the leaks back. Now again, this is the only duct work that is showing in the house, but they had a lot more leakage in between the joists and all that. It was just this part here. And the customer is going to go along and he's going to be sealing up some of these penetrations here. Okay, so that's your air conditioning line that runs out to your outdoor unit. But I want to show you this thing upstairs. It's really cool. So, hi puppy. So as we go into the master, you'll see this from above. So right now, the thermostat is on and cooling, and we've said, okay, well, we want to keep the bedroom at 68 in cooling, okay? And so what that does is that opens the damper, and right now, this is their old register here. I got a piece of toilet paper uh, that we can uh, show. So this is their old register. Good airflow, not enough. And then this is the new one we put in. And so you'll see that right now, with the damper open, we're getting airflow out of that duct, okay? So imagine that customer wanted 70 here. They want 71 in here. And of course, when they put it into heating, it just turns off. But we go like this and say, hey, we want to set it for 71. Thermostat clicked, and you will find out that, ding, no airflow. So you're able to control that. Now, when I put it into heating, the same thing's gonna happen. I'm gonna be able to say, hey, I don't, just in heat, you set the temperature uh, really high, and it just never comes on, it just doesn't, need to because it's not heating the space but if you have you could do this opposite so you could have a space that needs more heat but doesn't need cooling you know you can go back and forth with both look you can see that this is still this is their main vent which they've always had and uh, there and the reason this came about was that when I was doing the interview she was saying she wants it really cold in the bedroom which means we have to add capacity to the bedroom and that's how we did it um, she wanted it even colder than the rest of the house. And uh, without controls, 
you don't have control, remember, you know? And so that's that. So anyways, that is um, a Coleman. Again, Luxair, York, two-ton, 13 sear, with a sound compressor blanket, and then a Minion damper with the Honeywell 5000 controlling that in a master bedroom suite so we can control temperature. Thanks again for watching.